speak the word on our situations. We have we have to make sure that the devil knows for sure. Don't mess with us. Don't mess with us. We have to resist the devil on every turn, every hand, and let him flee from us. But at the same time, he gave us power to bind and loose and to, to bind something on earth. And whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. That's what the word says. And I thank the Lord for helping to for, for getting us to the place uh, where we can be at, where we can combat the devil. So uh, like on the movie, on, on It Man, he was fighting and fighting. He was blocking and blocking. But then once he started to fight back, when, when he was blocking and things like that, a lot of things were getting broke. And he said, look, the, the baby came out and said, look, start fighting and everything's going to be broke. So once he started fighting, nothing else started getting broke. He just started teaching this guy a lesson. Like, look, let me show you what real Kung Fu look like. <laughs> There's a lot of things that's going on out there in the world that uh, you don't know what's real and what's not right now. And people are looking for what's real. And so we have to show them what the real Jesus is all about. There's so many fake antichrists out there. There's so many, the, the spirit of antichrist is all in the land. And it's showing itself big and strong. And we have to be the light of the world and show the, the love of Jesus, that same everlasting love. The Bible says it's not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Ephesians. If you can, turn with me in your Bible. So Ephesians chapter 6. And it reads thusly, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Anybody experience any wiles of the devil? You, you, you see the different things that the devil is doing. He, he's he's uh, infiltrating our, our homes and, and affecting the kids and stuff like that by peer pressure and... Uh, there I say it, even homosexuality and all the different other things that's going on in this world today. Uh, lust and, and adultery and fornication seem to be running crazy in this world. But those are the wiles of the devil. That's only the shadow of death. The, 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 uh, the devil makes himself seem like he's all big and bad, but we know that he has no power. He has no authority in our lives. So we just thank God and we continue to pray and move forward and speak the words on our situation so we can combat and show them that our Kung Fu is better than his Kung Fu. Amen? <laughs> Amen. And it's all, it also says, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We got to understand that we don't wrestle against our fellow brothers. We don't wrestle against people, per se, flesh and blood. But we wrestle against... It says principalities against powers, against rules of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So there have there are people, there are you know different things, different organizations, different entities have been set up uh, to combat the things of God. But how many know greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world? Amen. Amen. So we have to combat the things by prayer by putting on the whole armor of God, by doing everything that we can uh, to combat the devil. Here's another thing we can do. Philippians, Philippians chapter four, verse, verse six. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in prayer and in supplication, make your request be made known unto God. And the peace that passes all understanding shall guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. We have peace in our heart when we combat the devil through prayer and through, through speaking the word on our different situations. Then things change. The atmosphere changes. You can, you can change that whole atmosphere by praying and speaking unto your situation. And that's combating the devil. That's your kung fu. Amen. You don't have to just block the, the devil, uh, all his hits. You can hit him back with something. Amen. You can speak the yeah. word and say, right. that, uh, uh, my God is greater as he that's in me than he that's in the world. Uh, I can combat him by saying that, uh, devil, you a liar on every turn. Uh, I shall live and not die. Uh, you, you can combat him and say, I can do all things through Christ has strengthened me. When that when that devil comes to you to, act, uh, to, to tell you that you're not worthy, 
You can say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. When your bills is, are due, you can say Philippians 4.19, but my God shall supply all my needs according to all right. the glory through Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? Now we know that God is able to do it. We know that he's able to do it. He just, he, like he did it for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They said, even if my God won't do it, he's still able to do it. We know that he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask and we think we can imagine. And we just have to trust God. Don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. The Bible also says, right here, talking about the whole armor of God here. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days, having done all to stand. It says stand. Okay. Therefore, having your loins girded with the truth. Yes. Around your loins. This, the, the truth is yes. going to be around your loins. Having the breastplate of righteousness to guard your heart, knowing that you're righteous in God. It's God's righteousness, not the self-righteous that the world wants to, to, to act like all the time. Every day you see people with all their bling bling and everything and their cars and everything, and they didn't think they got self-righteous. They didn't think they, they're righteous in that and, and just that. No, it's not material things that's righteous. God makes you righteous. All right. Amen. Amen. Uh, having the breastplate of righteousness, having your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel. So you have to pray over your feet so your, that your feet won't go the places where it's, it's not supposed to go. You, you have to put on that whole arm of God and say, uh, I'm going to go where the Lord leads me to go Amen. and not where I want to go. Amen? Amen? Let's see here. It says, above all, taking the shield of faith. So we uh, wherewith he may be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. Amen? That's another defense. You have your shield of faith. So you can be able to stand against these wiles of the devil. Because the devil's going to come at you with everything. Uh, discouragement, unworthiness, um, everything he probably possibly come at you to tempt you with idolatry, to put uh, anything above God. Idolatry is putting anything above God. And uh, he, he'll come at you with all kind of things But I don't want to talk about the things that he'll come at you with But so, know that, that God He will bring you through Each and every time That you, all you have to do is just pray All you have to do is just get to God and say Lord, you know my situation Lord, this is what's going on with me And while you're praying And while you're getting what you need from God then that's what the, the Bible says. Be anxious for nothing, but but in everything with prayer and supplication, make it must be made known to God. And it says, and then the peace that passes all understanding shall guard your heart and mind. So you, while you're waiting, you'll have that peace. So that's all part of it. So you won't you won't lose your composure in the situation. Uh, you have to have peace during your trials and things like that. And God is the only one to bring that to you. Amen? You just have to continue to pray and speak the word on your situation and you can co uh, combat the devil and fight back. Start fighting. Amen? That's, that's, that's my word for today. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call up Pastor Sullivan to close us out and give some final words. Amen? Amen. All right, let's give him a hand. Amen. 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 We're just so happy, amen, to be able to say loud to you at home because uh, we're just blessed with just uh, uh, to us to meet uh, our, our uh, people that come to help us and minister to me. To get it out to you, to get it on the truth. The Bible says, uh, I hear people that perish for lack of knowledge and want to get an understanding of the Word of God to you. Uh, I want to give you a little secret, though. All, uh, I have 11 children, and all 11 of them are preaching. All of them are preachers. And also my wife, she's in the apocalypse, amen. She's in the, she's here too, so I want her to say a few things, amen, to you all right Amen. Now. Oh, all amen. 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 Praise God, amen. Praise God. One of the most important things that I can say to the world today is get ready 
before Jesus returned because he is coming soon. I used to hear my mother and my father say, oh, the way the world is, and this was a long time ago. Not that I'm that, this old, that old, but because the world is kind of old, you know? And <laughs> ever since Jesus came, he said, prepare. When John the Baptist was on the scene, he said, prepare ye the way. Amen. And right now, Jesus is saying, prepare for I'm coming soon. And, and that means there are things that the word of God has taught us that we must do. And there is no way for us to get around it but give our lives to Jesus. And one of the things that I would like to say today is if you have not prepared your heart for the Lord, prepare now. Let him come in. And the Bible says he will sup with you and you can sup with him. And in that last day, he'll take you up so that you can live eternally with him. That's the one thing that is so exciting about serving God, that we can have eternal life with him. And if you want eternal life, give your life to Jesus today. And he will take control. And he, you can have, ask him, have your way with me, Lord. And you can have a wonderful life. That doesn't mean everything's going to be perfect all the time. But what it does mean is that you'll be preparing to live with him eternally. And that's where things are perfect. And so I say to you today, if you haven't given your life to the Lord, and if you haven't made your mind up, make it up today and say yes to the Lord. Say, I'm going all the way. I'm going with Jesus. Lord, have your way with me. And I'd like for you to pray this prayer with me right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you as a sinner, and I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, take complete control of my life. Take my heart. Take my mind. Just have your way with me, Lord. And I want to be your child. Forgive me for all the sins that I have done. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, to just come into my heart and live with me. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer with me, then you've given your life to the Lord. You've made up your mind that you're going all the way with him. And if that's be so, just continue to tune in with us daily. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, ain't she pretty? She's a pretty woman, ain't she? Amen. She's my wife. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord, brothers. Uh, amen. Sisters also. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Because some people don't. We have so many gender battles nowadays. They don't know. Amen. Praise God. So it's very important that you keep us getting straight. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't want to make the mistakes. Amen. 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 Praise God. I thank God for you today. Amen. Praise God. Uh, you know, if you listen to our live stream, amen, we're not going to cut any corners. We don't, we don't hide our hands behind our back and throw a stone. Amen. Praise God. We take the point blankly. Amen. Praise God. What God's word say. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we're, we're not afraid. Amen. We're not fearing any man. Amen. So we thank God for you today. I'm Pastor Sullivan. Thank you for seeing ministry. That's, that's with a capital T. Amen. Thanksgiving. Like Thanksgiving for turkey, but that's not what it's about. Amen. Thanksgiving. We already celebrated that. Amen. It's about giving thanks to God. Amen. And the seed of thanks. Amen. The soil with the soil seed. Amen. So we all have a seed. And the Lord said provide seed for the soil. Amen. So we should not just hold on to our seeds in our hand. We should plant them in ground. In ground. That's what it produce. Amen. Then we got to go back and cultivate that seed as well. It's so important to, to make sure that you remember that you have a seed, that God gave you a seed. Amen. And your seed, and if you have faith when you plant your seed, it will produce. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I thank you. For, uh, we're located here in Goodyear, Arizona. Uh, if you ever want to come through our services, amen, you need to ride there. You can call the telephone number. It's 623 932 2429. Or you can visit us at our website, amen, which is uh, www.thanksgivingseedministry.com. Um, and my wife also has uh, a website coming up. It's called Memorial Tea Party in Henry, six weeks she has a tea party. 
for all the women that you want to come and discuss anything I said or she said or or anything you want to talk about, amen. You may have a problem in your marriage. You, that? you may be trying to get rid of that guy. You may be trying to get rid of that woman. We don't know, amen, but, but if you're going to ring on the thing that you need to get rid of, amen. Amen. God, you shouldn't be in your house, amen. Pray to God, marriage is sacred, amen. So you know, if you're going to be married, then come on in. We have those that are unmarried. And you're looking for a good husband, a good wife, amen. Pray to God. So Sullivan, she's at the great key party. She talks about all of those things. About uh, uh, love affairs, and, but the love of God is the most important thing that we we try to share here. Amen. We want to start share the love of God. Right now, I'm just going to uh, go ahead on the sign off right now. Thank God for faith. God bless you. Amen. 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 It's good.